Hi, I'm Unique, the Juiciest Peach. And I know that you, some of you met me just a few days ago when I made my introduction for our page. Since then, I've got some questions about what is an SSBBW? I think I just assumed that everybody knew that, but I'm glad that the question was asked because I'm, I'm happy to explain it. Um, <clears throat> some said, does it mean super sexy? It could be. Super soft? Yeah, definitely. We'll take that too. Um, the S's could be so many things, but they happen to mean super size. So a BBW, of course, is a big, beautiful woman. A SS BBW is a super size, big, big, beautiful woman. And where that came from was many, many years ago. And I'm old enough to remember, and I guess I might tell my age here a little bit, but I'm old enough to remember when Lane Bryant had a catalog. And at that time, when I was growing up, I was a, you know, a child, elementary school, even before high school. Lane Bryant was the foremost authority on fashions for plus size women. At that time, even the catalog said plus size or zaftique women was one of the terms that they used. And while there are other places that you could go for plus size clothing, we went to Lane Bryant because they had some trendy things. Not everything, they certainly had some moo-moos because that's what fashion looked like for plus size women at that time. And they had some granny panties and they had some things with flowers that nobody really wanted to wear, but it was what came in our sizes. But in many ways, they were the ones who had some pieces that you could put together. And of course, when you put on your jewelry, then you were able to shine. And so people looked to Lane Bryant for that plus size women, Zaftique women, um, heavy set women, whatever the terms that society gave us or people used other than to say fat, we all look to Lane Bryant to be the source of our fashion. My mom um, lived by Lane Bryant. She was an educator um, in the uh, Chicago public school systems. So she always had to look nice, but she could go to Lane Bryant and find a dress shirt with a collar and a suit jacket and put some things together to make her look presentable and not stand out from all of the other women. And so she lived by Lane Bryant. Well, at some point, Lane Bryant decided that they would do a survey of sorts. And they did a survey and just to find out what sizes were true plus sizes. And they came back with the results and they said, well, um, the majority of the plus size uh, population goes between a size 14 and a size 24. So they use that for their business decisions. And at the time they were going up to size 42. Well, they decided that because the majority of the women who were plus size were 14 to 24, then they weren't going to carry sizes over a 24. And that's sort of where a lot of women felt the disconnect. My mom was one included and she was, if I think back now, I think she went through a depression after that, not being able to buy the clothes that she was used to so that she can get some um, outfits for work and feel good about herself, having to you know, continuously recycle the things she had just to you know, make it. And in many places were for women who, you know, continuing to gain, whether you chose to or not, if you, once you're out of the size, then what do you do? Because you don't have anywhere you can go. And that became the dilemma for us. Where do you shop? And then what is the, if I'm not plus size, then what I am I? And certainly with most things, there's going to be a bell curve. And so if they're saying that the bell curve was between 14 and 24, then of course, there's some on the smaller side and, and a lot more on the, the, the heavier side. The smaller side, they've got regular clothes for them. The heavier side, who's making clothes for them? And what are they if they're not plus size? So it was around that time that um, this, the term started circulating, super size. But these are super size. These are women who are sizes 26 and up. Where are they shopping at? And some retailers would say, we carry super sizes, six, uh, 26 and up. And then the term BBW 
around the same era is starting to circulate. Not all women want to be called BBW. Not everybody expunges it. Some will say, and I understand the argument, that they will say that there doesn't need to be a difference, that we're all beautiful. We should just be women. And I get that. But it's sort of like, if I can make the analogy, it's sort of like Black Lives Matter. Should all lives matter? Absolutely, all lives should. But until they do, until Black lives are being valued like other lives, then we have to assert the, at the very minimum that we matter. It's not asking for a lot, but it's just saying that we matter too. And that's sort of what the BBW movement was. It was to say society is not right. We are not going to accept that we are not beautiful. You have told us all our lives that beauty is everything but fat. That in order to be beautiful, you've got to have traditional beauty. You've got to be slender. You've got to have long hair. You've got to have all these things that some of us just were not. But that doesn't make us less beautiful. And so the BBW movement was to say, then no, I reject that. As a matter of fact, I refute that. And I'm going to stand flat footed in your face and tell you that I am a big, beautiful woman. And nothing you can say is going to change that. And so SSBBW is still that. We're still BBWs, just on the largest, larger spectrum. So in many ways, while BBWs were marginalized, this further marginalized the larger uh, women. And so it was important, again, that we assert that we are beautiful. We are supersized. And so, yes, not the Lane Bryant definition of plus size, but still worthy. And that was an important uh, um, difference that, again, we are our plus size. Some might even say time size. Maybe you got to multiply to get to my size. But I'm still here, and I'm still beautiful. And I'm going to assert that. And so. Adding on to that, even further along the spectrum, some may, if, you're, if you've been around long enough to know Dimensions Magazine, then you will know that there was another sector of uh, BBWs called the Ultra BBWs or Ultra SS BBWs. That was the ultra size, super, ultra super size BBWs. And those were BBWs that were 500 pounds or more. I am technically an, uh, a um, USB, USS BBW. I know it sounds like a ship, right? USS BBW, that's me. So I am over 500 pounds and there used to be just a, a handful. Now there are a lot more. And so when you look at shows like uh, My 600 Pounds Life and you see women that are 600 pounds, technically they would be ultra size uh, SS BBWs. And so now you know that there is a spectrum. Um, why is this so important for me to make sure that SSBBWs are represented? It's because everybody knows BBWs. Everybody, and BBWs can just come from thick to, again, size 24. There are, are unique needs when you get to a size 26 and you're 300, 350 pounds. Because just like it's a size, um, minimum, generally it's a size 26 and up. Usually that's about 350 pounds. Now, of course, we all wear our weight different. So sometimes you can be less than, <clears throat> than 300, excuse me, 50 pounds and still be a size 26. Sometimes you could be more, but generally you're gonna look at just the size. But what, what's important to me is that our unique needs are met. There are places that we go, and especially for me, I have 94 inch hips. So I can't go everywhere. I can't go to the movie theater if the armrest doesn't go up. I can't, I haven't been to a sport, sporting uh, event in a decade because I can't sit in those chairs that don't have um, the, the armrest. They're just a fixed seat. I can't fit in those seats. I've tried it. I've left with bruises all over my thighs that lasted and hurt um, for weeks. Just very horrible black and, and, and blue marks on my legs. I'm not going to squeeze into a seat just to enjoy the game. 
if the venue doesn't have seating for me, then they don't want me there. They don't want my money. But there is also a time when I'm going to say, there is something that I can do. There are some places that I can visit. There are some things that I can and will do. I'm not willing to sit at home because the world does not have a place for me. I've got to go out and make a place. And that's what I'm doing with Juicy Peaches, is making sure that we pave some roads to make sure that SSBBWs are welcome and will be comfortable in many different places so that we can enjoy life just like everybody else. Our events are for SSBBWs and friends. So it's not just for SSBBWs, but I make no apology about making, putting our needs first. Somebody's got to. We are important, our lives matter, and our, our sanity matters. How, are we supposed to just sit at home every day, all day, because we can't figure out if, so, if a venue is gonna accommodate us? No, no. So I make sure that this is what, this is my passion. This is my life. I don't wanna be the biggest person out every time I go. I wanna be out with some of my sisters. I wanna be able to look over and see you looking good. I wanna be able to smile and say, girl, you wearing that outfit. And I want you to be feel free to feel good about seeing me out wearing that. So SSBBWs, Super Size Big Beautiful Women, Juicy Peaches is full of them. I would love to have a whole lot more. If you are a size 26 or more, drop me a peach in the comments. Tell me who you are and where you're from. I would love to know you. I wanna know that you're out there. I wanna know that you're watching. I ask you to stick with us. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of like, subscribe, kind of, that's just not who I am, I'm sorry. I'm gonna tell you what I believe and what I've seen and I'm gonna share my experiences, but I'm not gonna do a whole lot of begging. If you wanna stick with us, please do. We love to have you and we love to bring you in so that we can enjoy some activities, events and vacations with you. We are um, expanding across the country and so we'll be having some events near you and I look forward to all of you being there. But drop a peach. Let me know who you are and where you're from. And I'm looking forward to seeing you. Thank you. I hope that I helped to answer any of your, your questions or any questions that you had about being an SSBBW. And just know that there is more to come.